Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of practicing to mark up a PDF. I'm going to head on over into my class. I'm going to look for my assignment. If the assignment has been added as a PDF, click the view button or the little view link. When you do this, you're going to receive a PDF viewer. You want to go ahead and click the download button. And then this file will begin downloading to files on your iPad right here. Okay, let me go back into where I had Schoology. All right, so I want to go ahead and submit an assignment. It says resubmit for me because this will be the second time I try to submit this assignment. I'm going to head out and I'm going to go on into the files button. Okay. Um, by the way, it's a good opportunity to share that this is the home button as well. So it does the same thing as pressing this button. So this button will take you back out. Okay. So I'm going to go on into the files button and then I'll click the file. It's already downloaded. Okay. So I want to go ahead and mark this up. So I'm going to put my iPad and a better view to begin writing, okay? Um, and I have a stylus that I can use. Of course, you could use your finger, but I don't want to model being able to practice your writing. Um, one thing that we know is if we put our hand down on the iPad, I guess it's not marking up right now, but it's, it's going to be a little bit harder to write this way with your hand touching first, right? It just takes that first touch. So I am going to, I just took a sock, that I'm not using. And I'm just gonna make sure that it covers up my hand so that way as I touch the iPad, um, the only touch it's gonna recognize for writing is just the tip of this um, stylus. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the markup tool, okay? And by default, let me go ahead and turn it back on. It usually stays right here in the center, but I kind of feel like it gets in the way. So I do like to press the three buttons and then auto minimize, okay? By doing this, it keeps all of my writing tools out of the way. And so here we have several tools that we can pick from and we can adjust the opacity. Of course, for my teacher, I wanna make sure that it's nice and dark and that the pen is thick enough for them to see. There is a highlighter, there is a pencil, an eraser, there is a tool to circle um, an object, move it, copy it, and paste it, and there is a ruler, okay? So I'll kind of demonstrate how to use them in here, all right? So let me go ahead and start off by selecting a pen, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick a color. I'm gonna go ahead and use the color pink, okay? And here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and write the number five, all right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and choose the pencil for this next box to show the number. And I'm gonna go ahead and show the number five. I'm gonna draw five circles. One, two, three, four, and five, okay? Um, and since I haven't placed my name on the paper yet, I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to use this ruler. Okay, because I can use the ruler to draw a straight line as a straight edge. Okay, and let me go ahead and I'm gonna grab a black line. And so the ruler is here and all I have to do is just draw my straight line. That's gonna help me write my name straight. Head back over here and hide my ruler. And I'll go ahead and use the pencil to write my name. There we go. So just a little demo that you can use that ruler to scroll. I'm gonna use two fingers so that it doesn't pick up um, me wanting to write, because if I use one finger, it writes, right? I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. So there is an eraser that I can use or the undo button. So I'll use the eraser in this case. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this number line. All right. We go two fingers to scroll up one two three 
four, and five. Now this gives me an opportunity to show you another tool. This tool right here will allow for me to copy and paste or even move an item. So for example, this one, if I tap on it, I can copy it, tap, let's see if it'll let me, tap, paste, right? So I can paste that one, right? Let's try it with the number two. If I tap on it, I can duplicate so that I can take a copy of that one here, okay? And the other thing you can do is maybe if you had misplaced it and you drew the number three in the incorrect place, by using that tool, you can move it to the correct place, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my pencil and finish filling out my 10 frame. There we go. And the last thing you wanna know about this tool is that you do have a plus sign and you are able to text if you prefer to text, draw um, an arrow and other shapes or thought bubbles as well. And there's even a magnifier here as well. Okay, so I'm gonna click off and my tools hide and I'm gonna go ahead and press the done button here so that I can save my work. And you can see now if I tap on my work, it's still there, right? Um, and we're gonna go ahead and turn it in inside of Schoology. So let me set myself back up here. There we go. Now remember this button here is the home button. So it'll take me back out and I can go into Schoology and I am going to resubmit or you might submit your assignment. Okay, so for this, this choice, since I am going to upload a document, I'm gonna click the files button and I'm gonna head on over to browse and it'll automatically find my files here on the iPad. And I'm gonna go ahead and click the assignment that I've just marked up and I'm gonna press the submit button. Okay, so the assignment has been submitted to my teacher. The thing to know, when you click on that assignment, it looks like, it looks like it has not uh, been completed. But in fact, when it is downloaded by the teacher, they'll be able to see your work here in this area. And that's it for marking up a PDF. You're able to do that within the Files app.